you seen my amethyst brooch? Yes. Did you touch it? I pinned it on yesterday, but just to see what it looked like. You had no business to meddle with my brooch. Where did you put it? Back on the pincushion. Honestly, Marilla, I didn't mean to meddle, and I promise I'll never do it again. That's the one good thing about me. I never do the same wrong thing twice. The brooch is gone, and you were the last one to handle it. Did you take it out and lose it? I didn't. And Shirley, you are telling me a falsehood. Go to your room. And you will stay in your room until you confess, even if it takes a month of Sundays. If you let me out for the picnic, I'll stay in my room as long as you like. I just have to go to the picnic. You're not going to the picnic or anywhere else until you tell me the truth. But if I don't go to the picnic, how will I ever make a bosom friend or any friend at all? That brooch meant a great deal to me, more than any picnic. Now you go to your room. I've looked in every crack and cranny. You might as well face it, Matthew. She's taken that brooch and lied about it. I feel worse about that than the brooch. Are you sure it didn't fall behind the bureau? I moved the bureau. I even checked the cracks in the floor. Marilla, I'm ready to confess. What have you to say for yourself? I took the brooch because I was too overcome with irresistible temptation. I was imagining I was Lady Cordelia Fitzgerald, and I just had to wear the brooch over the footbridge of the Lake of Shining Waters, with the wind blowing my auburn hair over to Camelot. I thought I could put it back before you came home. But as I leaned over to look at my reflection in the lake, it slipped from my fingers and sank beneath the rippling waves. It's the best I can do at confessing. I realize the importance of the brooch, Marilla. Was it a keepsake from a tragic romance? Did say I could go if I confessed. What you can do is pack your bags and start imagining your life with Mrs. Blewett. I'm furious at myself for having let this happen. Marilla. Whatever made you say that you took it and lost it? You said you'd keep me in my room until I confessed. So I just thought up a good confession and made it as interesting as I could. But it was still a lie. You wouldn't believe the truth. 